The health department on Friday, March 19, logs its highest daily rate of COVID-19 cases since the pandemic began, with 7,103 new infections. This brings the country's total infections to 648,066. Of the total cases, 73,264 are active, the highest since August 29, 2020. With this, the government is reimposing stricter limitations on certain economic activities and establishments in Metro Manila and nearby provinces until April 4. Presidential spokesman Hari Roque on Friday, March 19, says the decision comes amid a recent spike in COVID-19 cases. The following businesses have been ordered closed during the two-week period. Meetings, conferences, and religious gatherings should be at 30% capacity while restaurants, cafes, and personal care services should be at 50% capacity. On vaccine updates, vaccine czar Carlito Calves Jr. confirms the government signed a deal with Moderna to supply the country with 20 million doses. The agreement covers the government contract for 13 million doses and the private sector contract for 7 million doses. The Food and Drug Administration also grants an emergency use authorization for the Sputnik V vaccine developed by Russia. The Sputnik V vaccine is the fourth to be granted emergency approval in the Philippines. More than a week after the killings of nine activists in Calabarzon, President Rodrigo Duterte says he would gladly go to prison for killing communists and human rights activists. Invariably, ang sinasabi nila guberno ang pumatay. Huwag kayong maniwala niyan. Kung ako ang nagpapatay, sabihin ko sa inyo, pinapatay ko yung putang inang yan kasi gago yan. Duterte is referring to the killings in Negros Oriental being blamed on the government. Though he doesn't mention the recent Calabarzon killings, he says he will not hesitate to order the killings of human rights activists who pissed him off. Hindi ako magdadalawang isyo. Patay, human rights, okay. Pasok ako sa kulungan. Oh, yeah. Good. I'd be happy. Total matanda na rin ako. Hindi naman ako magtagal dyan sa preso na yan. Critics say Duterte's threats against communists pose a threat to democracy. The president justifies the crackdown by saying these organizations are legal fronts of the Communist Party of the Philippines. Duterte even signed the much-feared anti-terrorism law in 2020 that broadened the definition of terrorism and related crimes. Six in ten Filipinos agree it is dangerous to print or broadcast anything critical of President Rodrigo Duterte's administration, even if it is the truth. A social weather station survey conducted from November 21 to 25, 2020, but released only on Friday, March 19, says 65% of adult Filipinos agree it is risky to publish or air reports that are critical of the government. Agreement with the statement was highest in Mindanao, where Duterte hails from, followed by Visayas, rest of Luzon, and Metro Manila. Meantime, Quezon City Police request to enter Barangay UP campus for a 10-day immersion. The police say their immersion program aims to strengthen the connection between the police and the community. In an online exchange with Rappler, UP Diliman University Student Council Chair Froilan Cariaga is confident the request will be denied. He says human rights advocates in the administration and the barangay will not allow the immersion. In January 2021, the Department of National Defense unilaterally terminated the UP D&D Accord. It prohibited the presence of the police and the military in UP campuses. In the United States, police authorities do not rule out the possibility that the attacks in Atlanta, Georgia were provoked by anti-immigrant or anti-Asian sentiments. In an update issued Wednesday night, March 18, authorities say their investigation is far from over. They previously took into custody suspect Robert Aaron Long, a white man who shot dead eight people last Tuesday, March 16. Six of his victims are Asian women. He earlier suggested to investigators a sex addiction led him to carry out the violent rampage. U.S. lawmakers meantime aim to examine the spike in hate crimes against Asian Americans. The Center for the Study of Hate and Extremism reports these crimes rose by 149% in 2020 in 16 major cities, compared with 2019's figures. Experts link the surge to the COVID-19 pandemic, which originated in China. This intensified after some Americans, including Republican former President Donald Trump, started calling the coronavirus the China virus. Quote cards circulating online claim actress and humanitarian Angelina Jolie said, quote, I hope we find a Rodrigo Duterte in America to help us eradicate drugs here. This claim is false. 
there are no audio or video recordings, transcripts, or official reports of Jolie saying the quote attributed to her. Another version of the quote card compares Jolie's support of President Duterte's war on drugs with a supposed quote by Vice President Lenny Robredo calling it a failure. A similar quote circulated in 2016 was posted on the website philnews.ph, which describes itself as satirical. This claim was debunked by Rappler in 2018.